Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with a devotion entitled God's Grace in Every Situation. God's Grace in Every Situation. Romans 12, verse 6, it says, We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophecy in accordance with your faith. You know, the Bible teaches that God gives each of us certain gifts and the grace to use those gifts in our lives. And when we are not operating in our area of giftedness, we struggle. Don't you think so? There's something that we find difficult to do that to others are very easy. We need to keep that in mind when we see a great achiever or become a great achiever ourselves. Paul himself spoke five languages and wrote half of the New Testament. But he constantly struggled with what he refers to as torn in the flesh. When he prayed and asked God to remove it, God said, no. Instead, God said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power or strength is made perfect in weaknesses. You know, that is found right in the Bible. And uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 to 10. So we need grace in the areas of our gifting and grace for the areas in which we are not gifted at all. Sometimes we are called to do certain work, we are called to do certain jobs, uh, certain ministry in our lives, which we are not gifted in, but we, because of our willingness to do and assist in those areas and help out in those areas of service, God will empower you and I with the grace and the strength and the ability to carry out that responsibility in our lives for the building, for the building and the strengthening of the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. The story told of a man who went to hear a great speaker and ended up seated beside the speaker's wife. During the speech, the man noticed that the great speaker had monogram socks. Intrigued by this, he looked closer and saw instead of the unusual two or three initials were the letters T-G-I-F. When the speech was over, he complimented the speaker and then turned to the speaker's wife and said, T-G-I-F, thank goodness it's Friday? And the speaker's wife replied, oh, that's not what those letters mean. The monograms are there to help him get dressed they stand for toes go in first. You know, as long as you live, you will soar in some areas and do well in some areas of your life and struggles in other areas of your life and ministry too. And you will find that God's grace is ever sufficient for any challenge you face in life. Amen. His grace is ever sufficient in our time of need and struggle. Always. You know, whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, uh, whatever challenges are standing in front of you and you find difficult, uh, God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is enough for you and I to excel and to succeed in life. Amen. And you can be more than a victor. No matter what the challenges in life and what the service and ministers and ministries in life or what you are planning to do in life, given or throw at you to do in life, God's grace is sufficient and God will help you to succeed. Amen? Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you strengthen and renew every one of us. Now we know that your grace is ever sufficient for us. Will you bless us with a great day as we learn to look to you and succeed in life for your glory, for your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you and you have a great day.